Well, um, Mary, just to come to you on, on, on some of the detail we're going to discuss in this conversation around US tax considerations for US persons in the UK. As we said, it's, it's a common occurrence, people arriving in London, different sectors. But could you just define for us, first of all, who a US person is and what kind of filing requirements do they have? Indeed, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, why this is relevant, um, why it's important to know whether a person is a US person or not, the US has a, an unusual tax system based on citizenship. So mm. that means that um, they're only one of the two countries in the world that has such a system. It means that wherever their citizens are, they have a tax obligation. So regardless of where you're tax resident or physically present, <clears throat> you need to consider your tax um, your tax affairs on an annual basis as a mm. US person. So that's it's quite a broad um, definition. So a US person could be a citizen either by virtue of their birth or through um, a parent who may be an American, even if they were born outside of the US. Equally, it could be that you've had or hold a green card, which mm. you know brings you in line with most of the rules um, for citizenship in, in relation to tax. Or it could be that you're just physically present in the US for a period of time and you meet the substantial presence test, which is the US domestic residency mm. uh, test. Yeah, and then when you are when you are a US person, you obviously have to think about the various um, obligations that you have to US authorities. So typically for our clients who are mostly UK resident, they would be filing a federal tax return, mm. occasionally a state tax return if they've got in, uh, income coming from any specific state, um, and also various filing requirements, so reporting um, interests in non-US bank accounts or non-US companies, non-US trusts, anything non-US really the IRS would like to know about. So there's quite a high level of compliance yeah. um, when you know, you've got a US person who's resident in the UK and has built a life here and has a financial footprint here.